Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on these FSP Group Raider power supplies in the 450 watt, 550, 650, and 750 watt models. A couple things I want to note before getting into the boxes. These are all 80 plus bronze certified, which means at 20% load you get 82% efficiency, 50% load, 85% efficiency, and at 100% load you get 82% efficiency. And the 600 and 750 watt models are SLI ready, as noted here. Now for some specs. Each box comes with its own sleeves detailing the cable length as well as the number of connectors and voltage specs. Very easy uh, to see without opening uh, the box up. And it also has a nice feature which is a SATA array cable which gives you 50 millimeter intervals between each SATA plug, gives you better airflow as well as for cleaner cabling. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a bit. It also comes with FSP MIAIC, which stands for Multiple Intelligence Ability Chipset. Um, and basically what it does it, is it gives you better efficiency, over voltage protection, as well as energy savings. Here's everything that comes in the box for the 450 watt power supply. You get your user manual, installation screws, power cord, and here's a look at the cabling. We have your 20 plus 4 pin main connector your two 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express connectors and your 4 plus 4 pin CPU plug. These cables here are sleeved unlike the ones here and this one is your SATA array cable that I was talking about earlier. You get four SATA plugs in a straight line um, and you can plug in four drives this way and that way you don't get the extra cable bunching in the back. And here we have your three Molex plugs, floppy plug, and an additional SATA connector. Now for a look at the power supply itself, you get a 120 millimeter quiet fan. At 20% load you get 18 decibel, 50% you get 19 decibel, and 100% load you get 25 decibel. Here's a look at the power port and the power switch. We have some ventilation holes here and the FSP logo on this side and it's designed in such a way that it will always face right side up uh, and doesn't matter which orientation you use. The 500 and 650 watt models have the same number of connectors so I'll just be going over one. We have your 20 plus 4 pin main connector, um, two 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express connectors and your 4 plus 4 pin CPU plug and these are sleeved as well. <clears throat> Unlike these SATA connectors, here's your SATA array cable with your four SATA plugs as well as your three Molex plugs and your floppy plug and there are an additional two uh, SATA plugs. Finally we have a look at the 750 watt power supply and its cabling. So here we have your 20 plus 4 pin main connector. This one has a bit more. Uh, PCI Express connectors. We have four 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express plugs and one 4 plus 4 pin CPU plug. And they are all nicely sleeved so you get some better airflow as well as it just uh, looks neater. And here, see we have your SATA array cable with your four SATA plugs, sorry and a more a traditional SATA cable with your four additional SATA plugs. And we have your three Molex connectors, oops, sorry, that's the SATA, and your floppy plug. Here's a look at the power charts. They all have a single 12 volt rail design. And for the 450 watt power supply, you get 36 amp and uh, 432 total watts. For the 550 watt power supply, 42 amp and 504 watts. The 650 watt, you get 50 amp and 600 total watts. And finally, the 750 watt power supply, you get 60 amp and 720 watts. That wraps up our overview on these FSP Group Raider power supplies. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.